What's up guys? I winning back with another video. Today we're gonna be going over a big dime 146 splits. It's gonna be out of the Tampa 2 or cover 2 sink. Let's get right into it though. So block running back on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna base the line in game. These the, these linebackers won't come in the gap. So the guy's gonna be standing here. You're gonna press. You're gonna blitz this corner here. Now there's two levels to set this up. So you can slant up. You can slant up and you can uh, stand about here, hold the triggers. And what can happen is you're going to get that edge pressure or you can get the linebacker B gap. So basically you can uh, move him back if he comes down. Uh, you can press or you can move this, this DB down, but you're going to want to just slant your line up. Uh, get him on that, ang that animate angle right there for the D tackle. He's going to draw a double team, hopefully, so you can either stand uh, over the right tackle or you can stand back. Just depends what you want to do. Hold the triggers, and you're going to get that linebacker B gap right there. We'll show you the replay. Now, if I can get 25 likes on this video, I'll show you guys the crossfire three scheme out of this. It's really good four man blitz. It comes with the linebacker through the B gap up on the right from the linebacker on the right. So. Uh, if you guys want to see that, hit that like button. If you guys like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that like button if you guys enjoy this type of content. Uh, I'm, I give you guys all the blitzes that I use in game. So, so again, baseline press, slant up. Uh, that linebacker won't move, so he'll be standing right there. You want to get him, keep him on that angle. You can either hover over the right tackle or you can pull back. I usually will hover over the right tackle in, in game if I want the blitz to come in more consistently. If I want to use your back quickly to the to the left, I'm gonna pull my dude back. So. My responsibility is just to run like that, so we'll show the replay one more time. We'll call a wrap. So usually, like I said, it's either going to come from the, the the DB on the on the left, and or the linebacker on the right on the on the left. So he's going to either come through like that, or the or the DB is going to come. The DB actually took kind of like a short blitz angle, so the the guard kind of pulled towards him faster. If he would have took a wider wider angle. And if you put a better defender there, he will take a wider angle. Like I don't have Desmond Trufant there, who's the fastest uh, defender on the team for them. So, and I don't have Vic Beasley blitz in there either. So, uh, it could be better. You know, I just want to show you with the minimum guys that they put there. Um, you know, they're not the best. So, um, but they are starters. So, so um, if you want to get the edge pressure more consistently, all you gotta do is baseline press. This linebacker needs to be put here, but you shift your D line to the left. Shift your D line left. He shouldn't move. I don't know why he's not, but so he'll and then slant left. Blitz the slot corner, quarterback contain, and then I stand over the right guard. This is a little additional thing. If you stay towards the end of the video, if you just want the edge pressure, it should just come from the edge like this. You know, we'll show the replay. But if you guys pay attention, just watch about the past 10 seconds, and that's that set up for that bit blitz right there. So you just shift your D-line to the left, slant him left, and then you uh, baseline and press and blitz the slot corner if he's not already blitzing. So, I mean, that'll open up the edge more consistently versus the B-gap, but if you leave the line over the middle where you can engage the center and potentially leave the right guard or the center or the left guard, uh, you can get that B-gap that we showed previously. So, but if I'm my winning, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow a great deal. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night.